There we are. How are you both? Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good. So, Caitlin, I do want to jump straight to you. Yeah. Um, we have a very similar career transition. Um, really? Yes, I was going to join the military, and just before I got to Santos, I got medically discharged and had to switch to writing. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. How okay? How was that transition for you? Um, weird, strange. I think actually the military helped, you know, with setting up a business and everything. So I did want to, you know, see why why the military to act in. Well, I did seven years um, and I, you know, was, I, I wasn't planning on doing it forever. Um, but so I ended up getting out to go to law school. I actually went to law school first in New York and uh, I was there and just kind of realized that I, I was getting on another ship that I wasn't really sure about, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of law were you going go um, to go? I mean, I was still in law school, so it was general, my, my general aim was international um which isn't international laws made up it's just all agreements because it's just countries being like yeah we'll just not do that right and then they go <laughs> and they're like we didn't exactly say that so we had anyway. a meeting about it at least yeah somebody said fred said it was fine it was fine yeah. um uh so I, that was kind of my my path and then i just I, I, I couldn't fight the idea that I just want to do something more creative with my life and, and not necessarily just go right back into kind of the machine in a certain way. So I, I, I started taking classes and then I got invited to audi uh, audition of, at Stella Adler and, and I got into the conservatory. And at, at that point I was like, well, I can always come back to, you know, something else if, if this doesn't work, but might as well try it. We only get one life and, and it worked out. It's so funny. I looked at law at one point as well. And then was yeah. like, no, that's that's not really for me. And then psychology and then finally writing. <laughs> Creative again. Creative. <laughs> so Kudos I love to you guys and, on your bravery. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you know, in the episode that there is one point where, and I don't think it's a spoiler, Addison just says, I'm army, not navy. Don't don't look at me for that. At any point in the writing, did they turn to you for, you know, any help with, you know, the chain of command, the history and all of this? And you were just like, I'm army. No, nope. I didn't know that made the cut. That was my improv because <laughs> I was, I was like, I'm army. I don't know. Like, it's interesting. I spent seven years in deployed three times, but I never was on a ship that wasn't, I worked with the Navy, but I was never on a ship and ship life is very different. So I was learning for the most part, along with everybody else. I mean, there were certain things I understood, um, but yeah, for the most part, like I got to learn what it what it's like on a ship. So that was really cool for me. But yeah, that was my line. I was like, I don't know, I'm army. <laughs> so they didn't, uh, you know, with the chain of command. I mean, that's very similar between all the different branches. And yes. so did, did that help you with your role in this episode to sort of understand really what was going on? And yeah, I, I think that always helps. Like, I don't have to think about it. It's something that I understand. I can look at somebody's uniform and know where they sit. Know, you know what I mean? What, what they mean. Um, obviously the writing made it very clear who was who, uh, but yeah, that's always, that's always just helpful. And there was a moment where the writing, um, had made it seem like there was a really huge dichotomy between Ray's character and Brandon's. And I remember being like, wait, they're actually the same rank. Brandon's position is higher on, and, and that's just something I learned on the ship. They still call, even if you're the same rank, you, you know, you're addressed differently because of the position on the ship. So that was a fun thing for me to learn, but navigating like rank and position sometimes there, you know, it needs some finessing because you're really not going to yell at somebody who's on your level. So that, you know, like just how they handle that. So it was really cool. It was, it was, it was very, it felt very collaborative. So Brandon, at what point did you find out that your character was going to be Addison's father? Uh, the very beginning. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was a part of the the the, the initial pitch. So yeah. was that something that drew you in? I mean, what was it about this character that was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to audition for this and I would like the role? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, 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 thankfully, you know, I was, I was, uh, I was, um, uh, 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 offered. 
uh, blessed uh, blessed uh, to to just have this one be 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 a meeting and an offer, um, which is amazing to to when that when that happens. Um, and I just had a really great um, conversation with Dean uh, Jugaris, uh, uh, and and in that conversation, um, he expressed his his love. You know, whether he said it outright or not, his his is his love for the show and specifically for this episode and how 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 much they were really caring about this episode and, and establishing as part of, of Addison's um, backstory, which will inform her future. Um, so it just felt like, you know, it wasn't just another, you know, one-off, you know, guest star. Uh, it was, it was a special um, appearance. And um, uh, even though I'm coming in for, you know, one, one, one episode, it was, it was um, momentous. Um, so that's, uh, you know, I'm honored to be a part of it and, and uh, be a part of the, the lore now oh only one episode no more <laughs> so we'll see. hopefully hopefully not we love to have brandon back any i would love to be back what was it like for you brandon when you know caitlin's there saying all these lines and you're not allowed to react yeah you know, you've got to pretend that she's not there how hard was that well i'm very used to uh not having other actors present uh when i'm having to do emotional uh, 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 work, um, starting back with, with, with Superman and all of the flying and all of the solitary moments and, and really kind of, you know, I guess being vulnerable enough to, um, express that, um, and let that play without having other, um, uh, interaction. The wonderful thing about this uh, in particular, this episode was that Caitlin was there, so I couldn't see her, but I could hear her and I could feel her uh, physically actually feel her presence, you know, in the room. Um, so that made it much, much easier. So can you both tease much about what to expect with this episode, you know, for the, the dynamic and what it means for Addison moving forward as, you know, truth, she's heard a story, but you go back in time and find out there's actually more to it. Yeah. What was the big? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. The, I think the question was, what can we tease? Mm, oh. I think I would tease that uh, this is one of those unique, wonderful opportunities where you grow up understanding something about your parents. But if you were to have met them as an adult, having experiences, having experienced failure in your own life, I think you'd meet them. I think we're pretty hard on our parents sometimes. Uh, and we had this wonderful opportunity, not only for a daughter to meet her father as an adult, but also for a second generation veteran to meet a first generation veteran and see and to truly understand finally what he was going through when he made the decisions that he made. Were they perfect? Absolutely not but they were human and he was doing the best he could. Uh, so I think it's a really great opportunity, um, both on a human level and, and, and as a veteran to, to be able to explore that. Yeah. And I would just say, you know, um, uh, uh, being a father, understanding my own mistakes that I've made, uh, up until this point, uh, in my son's life of, of 10 years, uh, and if we get curious about it, um, if we allow ourselves to become vulnerable and 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 and, and introspective uh, about our behaviors as adults to children, we can um, understand what behaviors were from our parents that we either are good or not good. And then once we allow for the fact that um, that that connection exists, we can choose whether we're going to change. Um, uh, be be courageous and vulnerable enough to change those behaviors to create a better a better future rather than being stuck in the past, um, unable to change. So, I, I think what happens, you know, in the tease is something happens to uh, Augustine XO Augustine in in the episode that um, informs his future. Um, so he, uh, you know, even if it doesn't. Physically, even even in the cool thing about it is even if it doesn't actually change interactions between 
um, Augustine and, and Addison that much, like in the, from 89 on, it's already affected her in the moment because she has seen her father. She has understood in a, in a more uh, whole view of him and um, growth has, has, I think, uh, it allows her for a moment of, of growth and better understanding of her father. So she's not telling stories about her inadequacy as much or that he left because of her or that he didn't love her, you know, which I think is mm -hmm. something we hold on to as kids. We make these implicit memories uh, because we don't have the words and the understanding of what has happened, the decisions our parents make. Um, and, and unless as parents, we go back and we say, hey, this is what was happening in this moment. You, you, you know, I'm going to take too long talking about that. But anyway, that's cool. Thank you. So much. I do have to wrap that. But I, I want to say I had tears in my eyes through some of those moments. So thank oh, you so much. Oh, thank you. It was lovely to meet you. You too. Lovely to meet you as well.